Hey guys, I'm going to show you a one-click ultimate Django debugging experience that I've set up in Visual Studio Code. Now, all I have to do to get debugging going is press my play button in the run and debug window. And now that I've done that, a Chrome tab has opened in a new window. And once my server is started, it navigates to my local host. Django is running in the background and everything is ready to go. Now, what's pretty cool about this is not only is this a live web page that's opened just by me clicking once, I can also go into like in my home template, let's add a couple exclamation marks. I just hit save and there we go. The exclamation marks are there. So this is actually a live reloading page that I can make edits, save, and immediately see the changes in the browser. And I have these on two windows here. I actually have multiple monitors. So my de the way I would debug is I would have all my code here. And then in my separate window, I'd, ha I'd be kind of looking over to the right and then see my updates as I go. So um, to kind of peel back the layers here, what I've done is I've inside my launch.json file and for in Visual Studio Code, almost everyone will have a launch.json. If you have anything under the run and debug here, you'll have a launch.json. Now, what you might not have is a tasks.json file, so you'll have to create that and just right click, create new file, tasks.json. And what's going on here is we have a, I have this Django start configuration, and that's really what's starting. Django starting the server and the manage.py um, run server command. And then I have a separate configuration that's launching Chrome. And there's this concept in Visual Studio Code called a compound configuration, and or it's just called a compound. And through compounds, you can actually specify two or more configurations that you would like to run together. And in this case, I'm saying when I run the compound with this label, I want to run this configuration and I want to run this configuration. So I'll start from the top. This Django start, the first parameter that's important here is Python and this is saying where Python is living. And in my case, I created a virtual environment. So it's pointing to your Python. And then it's running the program manage.py, which you're probably familiar with. And then when it runs manage.py, it's passing the arg run server. So it's just like if you were in the debug console and you typed in manage.py run server. That's all we're doing. So We've got that. And then the second part is something I discovered recently. When you add Django true to a configuration, it allows you to debug a template. And I'll show you that kind of in, in progress. I have my page open here. I'm on the home page. So if I go to my home.html, this is a H this is a Django template. I'll just put a breakpoint somewhere in here and refresh the page. And I've actually hit that breakpoint in here and I can interact with all the context variables that have been passed in and really see what's going on inside my template. So super, super useful. And if you want to learn more about that, there's, let's check out this one. In Visual Studio Code, they actually have a section on Django. There's like a Django tutorial where they show you how to run Django in Visual Studio Code. And they mentioned this Django true variable here and it says it allows Visual Studio Code to debug Django page templates, which is great. All right, I'm going to hit play to just load the page to keep going. And our next one, just my code is, is saying if I hit a breakpoint and I start skipping over lines, I want to make sure that I'm in my code and not diving into kind of Python's built in library. But you can set this to false and it's been useful to me if, if you really want to dig into a stack trace. All right, so we covered the args. We're running runs manage.py run server. And this is where some fancy stuff is happening here. But before I get to that, 
I'll mention that the second configuration is our launch Chrome. And we are launching Chrome of type PWA Chrome. And I was a little confused on this when I first looked it up because I saw some examples were showing Chrome, some showed PWA Chrome. And it turns out if you go to this um, blog post by Visual Studio Code, they actually talk about it. So let's find it. It's PWA dash Chrome. So they mentioned that it's a new option and that it allows better JavaScript debugging. So Visual Studio Code says that we should use PWA Chrome instead of Chrome for the option. Okay, and then I pass this runtime args of incognito basically saying I want to run Chrome completely clean, no leftover cookies or anything like that, and it just makes the debugging experience more consistent. And finally, we just pass in a URL. This could be anything. I'm saying once Chrome launches, navigate to my local host. Django naturally runs on port 8000, but that's configurable. So make sure that this URL is pointing to where your Django application lives. Okay, so we talked about the two configurations. Now we'll focus in on this first configuration that has this pre-launch task and post debug task. Now this is where tasks come in. And in a task, you can basically say, this pre-launch task is saying, run this task before this configuration fires off. And then when the debug session is over, run this task. So we're running this live, what I've named live reload, and then a stop tasks. So once we jump over here into our tasks, we have this live reload that's mentioned in, in the launch config and then the stop tasks. And inside, and we'll start with the, the live reload. So this live reload is, unfortunately, Django is not able to reload itself, um, like where you make changes and you see those updates, like when I added those exclamation marks. So there's actually a third party library that is able to do this. And it's called Django Live, Re Re Live Reload Server. So you pip install it and then add it to your installed apps. You add a middleware class and you're ready to go. And, and, and this is kind of like part of the reason I wanted this one click debug experience because in the documentation, they actually want you to run two commands. So you're running manage.py live reload and that's getting the live reload server running. And then you have to run manage.py run server. So I just thought this was really ridiculous to have to run two commands just to start debugging. Um, so these are the two commands that I needed to find a way to get them to, to run in one click. So this live reload command is what I'm using. And this is slightly different. This command here is slightly different than in the configure in the launch dot JSON file. And in this case, we can actually use this dollar sign notation to access things that are in the configuration. So in this case, if you go into like preferences settings and then go to the Python section, there will be a default interpreter path. And that's basically pulling that variable into this, um, into this property. So we've got our Python path to the environment, into the virtual environment, and we pass manage.py live reload. So this is just running like we did manage.py run server. What we're doing here is doing live reload. And I set, I needed to set the current working directory to my Django project, and this is where my manage.py file lives. I have a different current working directory for my workspace, so I, I just needed to explicitly set it. So you just want to make sure that when this task is run, that it's in the correct directory in order to run the manage.py command. Now, this next part, I'm going to be honest, I don't quite understand what's going on here. I actually found this bit of code from a issue in the Visual Studio Code repo where someone's asking like, 
how do we kill the terminal after debugging? And, and I came across this because before I had this code for stop tasks, after I ran it, the terminal windows and everything stayed around. So I needed to find a way to kill everything after you hit stop. And that's what this code and this code is doing. So when we are in launch.json, we're going to run this live reload pre-launch task. So it jumps into task.json and it runs the live reload and starts the, the live reload module server. And then when we finish debugging, so after we press this stop button, run the stop tasks command. And in the stop tasks, it's going in here and basically terminating the terminal windows that have been spun up. And we'll see there's a live reload terminal here that gets killed. Okay, so, and, and, and really, yeah, that's, that's the magic going on here. We have our live reload is kicked off, the manage.py is started, and Chrome is launched. And I, I can just show you a little bit more debugging here. Um, I'm on the home page, and we can also, I have in my views file, let's just hit a breakpoint on the context for, I'm, I'm returning um, the context to the home page. If I reload, I, I hit the breakpoint and I have access to everything. So this is a really great one-click experience where not only can I debug my views and my templates, I'm able to do it all in one click. I hope you enjoyed it. It was pretty fun for me to figure out and I use it every day.